Good morning and welcome back again to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on S3. Now this morning, oh, story that's been all over the news. We're joined on the couch by criminal law experts William Booth and Fallon Taff for a recap on the case of rapist and murderer Tabo Besta and his co-accused, including Dr. Nandipa Magadumana, which has been postponed to the 20th of June now. Now Besta, Magadumana and others implicated face charges, including fraud and corruption, violating a corpse, harboring and concealing an escaped offender and defeating the ends of justice. William, thank you very much, Fallon. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. I hope you're going to help us put, us put this into context. A lot going on. Yeah, I was just thinking about what episode are we in in this crazy saga that's been yeah. happening. But, of course, we've got the experts here. You guys can possibly fill us in on where we're at. And just recently, I see a GFOS, which was the security firm that was involved in all of this, has just appeared in front of Parliament, right? What's happened since then? Did uh, anything... Uh, get executed? Was any decisions made after this or is it kind of just still in this information gathering period? Where are we at with this? Well, good morning everybody and uh, good to be back the next episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tabo Besta. Yeah. So a lot has been happening since we last chatted. Uh, the parliamentary uh, inquiry, that's still pending. Uh, various officials from G4S, the security company that was engaged at this prison, have been pretty much grilled in Parliament. Uh, the DA... Uh, Shadow Minister of, of Justice, uh, Ms. Breitenbach, mm. I think gave them a, a yeah. good, good rundown and a Bit good a run for their, yeah. for their money. So that's the one aspect that we're still waiting to hear about. There's a bail application on the go for the G4S uh, accused in this matter. Best, obviously, uh, although there was a hint that he was going to apply for bail, <laughs> I don't think ever can apply for no. bail, and I doubt if he's ever going to be released because, you know, we know he's serving life imprisonment, and with his escape, I mean, that adds to More any parole yeah. or release date going yeah. into the future. Mago Domani has now thought of launching an application in the High Court in Bloemfontein with regard to her arrest and deportation from Tanzania to South Africa. So... We're not quite sure exactly what she is alleging, but she mm -hmm. hasn't brought a bail application. Yep. My view is that she should actually have dealt with all of this In a bail uh, during the bail application. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the G4S ab bail application uh, is <coughs> pretty much towards the end. The end I yeah. think they tomorrow. Go, tomorrow they're so going to hear there's been legal argument. Uh, so that's in a... Yeah. Quick nutshell is where, <laughs> yeah, quick as where, as where, where we are with, yeah. the, with but, all of these okay. uh, issues. Yeah, but this is where we're at. I mean, there's so many different elements to this, yeah. so many different players involved as well. And what is what is the deal with best of swapping out lawyers uh, in the case? I mean, what, what what is happening on that front? Well, all we know is that the previous attorneys literally just withdrew. And I think... Mr. Booth will agree with me. There's a fine line between an accused actually terminating a mandate and the attorney actually deciding to voluntarily withdraw. Mm. Oh, wow. So yeah. that's what be, has been put out in the media is that they withdrew from the matter. But it's nothing unseen. It happens on a regular basis. Okay. Attorneys come on record, withdraws from record. Accused literally goes from sometimes in one matter through three, four attorneys. Oh, wow. So there's not necessarily something we need to really dive deep into. No, in this, it's, it's a common, it's something into, that's, yeah. it's common. Okay. Okay. It's common. One thing I didn't know and one thing that I didn't know was even common, and I'm assuming this is obviously the world we live in now, but I'm seeing uh, the opportunity for virtual versus physical appearances in court, right? And seeing that the latest appearance was actually via a Zoom call, what world have I been living in where this is now an option? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know there was... I could just yeah. turn home. I didn't need to waste my petrol. Is, is that now a normal thing? And why would he even opt for this option in the first place? Yes. I mean, what, what's going on here? Well, in terms of the Criminal Procedure Act, if there's a postponement of somebody who's in custody, yeah. that can be dealt with virtually. Okay. But since COVID, we've even moved on even further than that, that some court applications are dealt with virtually. Yeah. Uh, you know, where legal argument can be presented. It's very difficult running a trial yeah. particularly a criminal trial, virtually. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you cross-examine exactly. somebody? Yeah. So you ask somebody yeah. a question, he says, yeah. hang on a moment, runs around the, the desk, goes under and gets Quickly out goes. his notes, yeah. comes <laughs> back Check and GPT. answers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> answer but, 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 but the virtual hearing does regularly happen. Yeah. It's also to avoid bringing prisoners from court... Uh, uh, from prison. ..to court and back again. Yeah. That okay. becomes a bit of a yeah. practical yeah. issue. And I think in this case particularly, he's 450... 
k's away from from Bloemfontein mm. Court where he needs so to be. So logistically, are. because I mean, if you're going to go for a 10 minute, 15 minutes postponement, mm. why all the effort of actually transporting? And obviously, because we're dealing with a high profile matter here, yeah. the security is inclined with that. Security, means yeah. they've got to have more things in place to actually commute and transport ah. that person there. So that is also some of the factors uh, considered. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. I mean, there's so much still to talk about. I want to chat about the fact that people got a lot of questions going with regards to the full face of makeup that Margaret Demano is wearing right. in an expensive hoodie by What's Vesta. The <laughs> What's the deal? We're going to come back to that in just a little bit with our experts. Stick around for that. It's my feel good breakfast show. Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back. Your feel-good breakfast show is here and the saga continues. <laughs> yes, we are continuing the conversation around the biggest criminal case in South Africa at the moment, and that's of the rapist and murderer Tabu Besta and his co-accused, including Dr. Nandipa Magudubana. Now, we've got the specialist here. We are having a great conversation. Just find out what's going on, and we're going to carry on with that right now. Exactly. Yeah? Um, uh, William, thank you very much. Fallon, thank you very much again for joining us this morning. So just uh, early on, we, we unpacked the appearance via Zoom uh, as opposed to in person in court, but what I think got a lot of questions um, from the public and that we saw in the news headlines when Magdumane appeared on Zoom. She was beautifully made up, yeah. makeup, uh, best to wore a very expensive hoodie. What's your take on this? Is this out of the ordinary? Is this normal? Absolutely normal. Uh, As okay. we, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. I caught you off guard with that. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, but this, yes. Everyone, everyone was asking the questions that I've seen, you know, via the social media. It's like, but, but, but how? Why? Nothing extraordinary okay. there. It's a common phenomenon. You see it daily happening. People coming into court, and literally when they go back to prison, you can expect to see somebody entirely transitioned appearing the next day, particularly with females, I suppose. Mm. I've literally, from experience, seen ladies appearing in court. You're like, whoa, okay, where did you come from? Mm. And the next moment, they get transported to Paulsmer, to the Supreme Prison, which has got obviously female sections, yeah. and they come back. The makeup is there. What we need to remember is there are only there are only trial awaiting at this stage. Mm. So they have all this programs going on in prisons, allowing people to do hair, to do makeup, because obviously oh. they're killing people within prison to do something once, once they are outside. So nothing really extraordinary. You'll really see accused people appearing in court, having their hair done, having their makeup done. I was surprised to see the nails done, though, because uh, <laughs> clearly that's something new there. Yeah. But yes, the hoodie, that's something different. I mean, really, it's not the price tag that counts. Yeah. The thing is that every time a person goes to court, you are entitled to put on your clothes of choice. Mm. So, I mean, he chose to, wore the, to wear the most expensive one there. It's so weird to me when, you, when you're potentially trying to garner, like, public mm. affection or get people on your side. That's not really the best statement to that put you out. Want I to don't make. know, but yes. each to their own, I guess. Yeah. What really baffles my mind, and I mean, there's so many questions in the saga. I want to find out about this corpse, right? Now, firstly, has it been uh, ascertained as to where this corpse was actually sourced? Uh, do we know exactly uh, what's happening in the saga? Is there any new information on that? Because that was crazy for me, to uh, say the least. Like, yeah. where did this body come from? Oh. Whose body is it? There were so many questions. William, do you have anything about that? Yes, absolutely. Well, it's this elaborate scheme that was set up involving all these security officials, yeah. and obviously Besta, Magadamana, her father, you know, transporting back and forth the CCTV, was cut so that you couldn't see who was coming in, who was going out. So it was this huge planned operation. Yeah. So the information we have is that the body was brought from mortuary, mm. brought into the prison, sneaked in, wow. with the help, obviously, of these various security officials. And then that is the person um, who was, let's say, set alight. Well, the body was yes. set alight. Yes. So the whole fire was also an elaborate scheme to throw kind of uh, attention yeah. away from Bester and then, no, it's Bester that died in the fire. So it, they have established who, uh, who the person is and, and I think they've interviewed mm. the mother and the yeah. family and obviously they're extremely, extremely traumatised. Yeah. Initially, all the accused in this case were charged with murder. That charge has been withdrawn. So you've got various charges of escaping, mm. uh, you know, corruption, uh, and and, and uh, assisting with the escape, you know, beforehand, during, after, etc. So yeah. defeating the ends of justice. So those are the kind of charges that are are, are pending. But, but we can at least know, confirm that that body wasn't killed for that purpose. No, no. Right? no. that yeah. charge okay. is good yeah. stuff. Is withdrawn. But, okay. You know, getting a body in, setting a light oh. in the cell. I mean, really, this yes. is quite. 
unheard of. Yeah, 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 for yeah for I know. World, worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you've seen some elaborate escape uh, the schemes. Is, oh, but this, oh, really this takes it to a different yeah. level. Yeah. 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 It takes the cake, as they say. Um, <laughs> it does. <laughs> just, to, just to wrap up this morning, I was going to quickly touch on this. Uh, the case is now postponed until the 20th of June for further investigations. Um, but what we want to know is, this is also the same month, June, when, when Tabo's best uh, advocate, uh, Pedro, is expected to go on trial for corruption. Mm. Mm. Yes, what, what exactly is going on there? Because, I mean, this can't look good. I mean, here he's defending, you know, Vesta, but yet he's going on his own trial for corruption. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't look good. No. Definitely doesn't look good, I agree. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. But don't forget, he hasn't been convicted of anything. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. still, so, just the fact yeah. of thing having to also now go through yeah. this of process. So yeah. if you link this to a another matter where a lawyer by the name of Mr. Tefu mm. has a popped up, he's yeah. actually been disbarred. Uh -huh. So he's not allowed to go to court. So, uh, you know, that's... that's Different And he did arrive at court the other day and he was <laughs> escorted out of court. <laughs> but... Um, in, in this instance, he had, uh, you know, this lawyer has not been yeah. convicted of anything. And it's, I think, a choice that he must make. Mm. And, you know, best who's instructing him must make, does he want a lawyer who has a matter pending? Yeah. Uh, but again, yeah. he's, you know, yeah. regarded as being innocent. There's been no, as far as I'm aware, disciplinary uh, application brought to mm. disbar him. So, yes, he can technically still carry on. Yeah defending uh, Bester until, let's say, he is disbarred. He may not be disbarred. Mm. I think it's just confusing, shifting that focus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It no, is. No, no, absolutely. It is. And the public, you know, yeah. needs to know, well, why would he be still yeah. appearing? So, technically, yes, he can appear. Yeah. Whether it's the right thing from his perspective or from Bester, that's another question. But, uh, you know, he his case hasn't been completed mm. and you know, he must be regarded yeah. as being innocent in terms of our law. Oh, well, Fallon and William, thank you again so much for coming through, for shedding more light on the saga, and it does continue. We will hopefully get them in here again and uh, find out what else is going on as this unfolds. And for now, though, it's time to unfold a little bit of magic with one of our performers right now. Enjoy.